You see, this video made me $884 and I have never revealed my face in it and I didn't even film it myself. The entire process took less than an hour, so I decided to show you exactly how I did it and how you can potentially do the same. So I will show you how I found the video topic, how to get that video done in less than an hour and how to actually get views. Because if you look at this channel analytics, you will be able to see that this channel literally has only 6,000 subscribers. And it actually got almost 400 subscribers out of that one single video. So it just goes to show you that you don't necessarily need to have a huge YouTube channel in order to make some decent amount of money on YouTube. In most of the cases, you just need to know the right strategies and that's exactly what you will learn today. My name is Dave Nick and I post videos that help you build, grow and scale an online business. So if that's something you want to see, then tap the subscribe button and let's dive in. So first of all, what do I mean by making money on YouTube without making videos? Because no, I'm not saying you should not post a single video on your YouTube channel and expect to make money. It, it doesn't work like that. But what I am saying is that you don't necessarily need to film yourself and show your face in front of the camera in order to build a successful YouTube business. I mean, obviously, there are some clear benefits of having a personal brand YouTube channel, but that's not how I made $800 with that YouTube video. The way I did it is I outsourced the entire process through my automation systems that we will be talking about later. But I also want to show you how you can do it all yourself so you don't have to hire anyone and you can start this without any significant investment. And I also want to mention that you should not expect to become a millionaire overnight by doing this. This obviously requires a lot of time, effort and sacrifice. For me, it literally took me over two years of extreme struggle to get to a point where I have multiple successful YouTube channels. So nothing happens overnight and this requires a lot of time, work and effort. Anyways, the very first thing that you need to do is find the right video topic. And as we talked about in my previous video, where I showed you how I got my 1 million subscribers on a faceless YouTube channel and I will also link that video at the end of this one if you want to watch it. But yeah, choosing the right topic is probably the most important thing because you can literally have the best thumbnail in the world, the best title, description and the best tags but if the video topic is something that no one is interested in then it's not gonna get views. Now I'm obviously not gonna reveal the topic of my video because I don't want everyone to copy me and I don't want you to just go through the video and check the views and that would just ruin the watch time. But what I am gonna do is something that's a lot better and a lot more helpful to you and that's to show you how you can apply those strategies to find the right video topic no matter what niche you're in. And I personally prefer to stick to niches that talk about finance, business, money and crypto because those niches usually have a lot higher CPM than others. For example, videos that talk about cats may earn $2 per 1000 views while videos that talk about money money, finance, business and crypto may earn 40 or $80 per 1000 views which is an incredible difference. And the reason for that is obvious because advertisers are willing to pay more to advertise on finance videos because people that watch those videos potentially have some money to invest or to start some business and that way they will most likely buy some of the products that those advertisers are advertising. While entertainment type of channels attract a broad type of audience so advertisers are not able to target a specific type of person, therefore making those videos less valuable. And the best way to find the right video topic is to use tools like vidIQ. With vidIQ, you can just enter the keywords related to the video you want to make, press enter, and that will show you the most relevant keywords that people are searching for right now. You will be able to see the search volume as well as the competition level. If the competition level is low, but the topic is highly searched for, then you basically hit the gold mine. Another way to use with IQ, which is by the way not sponsoring this video and I don't have any affiliate links, I just love using them, is to use their daily video ideas generator. So the AI will find you different video ideas every day based on what people are currently searching for and what's currently working in your niche. And finally, you can just go straight to YouTube, go to the search bar and just search for the keywords you want to make a video about. Filter your search by this week or this month and filter your search by view count. And that will show you the most popular videos right now and what's getting the most views in the past 30 days. So you can just find the video topic that is hot at the moment and just recreate it in your own way. Or if you can't find anything that's trending right now or you just want to make more evergreen content, then just find videos that were posted this or last year and that got a lot of views 
use and recreate that. Once you found the right video and you did your research, it's time to start working on your script. And you can either write the script yourself or you can hire someone on Fiverr to write that script for you. But if you decide to do it yourself, here's how you can structure your script to get the most retention rate, engagement, and of course, get the most views. So I like to break down my scripts in four different parts. The first part of the script is the hook. So the first 15 seconds of the video are actually the most important ones because you want to try your best to grab viewers' attention and make them watch the entire video. So you never want to start your video with a irrelevant message like, hey, welcome to my video, my name is John Johnson and you should subscribe and blah blah whatnot. That's not what they clicked for, that's not what they're interested in, so they will instantly click off, kill your watch time and of course not watch the video. So just use those first 15 seconds wisely and that's the first part of the video. First part of the script is the hook. The next part of the script is where you give the viewer a reason to stick with the video and watch until the end. Like for example, I did that at the beginning of this video when I told you that you should stick with me all the way until the end because at the end I will link you to my video where I will show you how to get over a million subscribers on a faceless YouTube channel. So now you have a reason to watch until the end. Then the third part of the script is the body of the video, so the actual content. And the last tiny part of the script is a call to action to either like, subscribe, comment, share the video or just click on the end screen card to watch more videos or watch the entire playlist. And that's basically the best formula for probably any faceless YouTube channel in almost any niche. Now once you have the script, the next part is voiceover or someone reading the actual script. For this you can of course either hire someone on Fiverr or just grab a microphone and record the voiceover yourself. If you decide to do it yourself, you can use some free audio recording software like Audacity or Rev.com slash online voice recorder, easily read your script, pause, click on preview and just download it with one click of a button. And once you have the audio, now you just need some visuals to show up on the screen of your video and for this you can use some free online resources like free stock footage and free stock photos from Paxels.com or Storyblocks. Storyblocks actually does require a small fee but they provide you with much higher quality stock footage and stock photos. So basically you will select videos right here, you will go to the search bar and you will type in whatever you need for your video. For example, my video starts with something related to being bored at home. So maybe I can type in bored in the search bar and that's gonna give me these different videos. If I wanna use this clip in my video, all I gotta do is click on this arrow pointing down and the video is gonna be downloaded to my computer with a full license that allows me to use that clip in my video. And the same thing basically goes for story blocks as well. Go to the search bar, search for the video you need, go through their library of content and once you find something that you like, just press on the arrow pointing down and the video will be onto your computer. Now you just need to combine that audio and that stock footage into one and create the actual YouTube video. And for this you can use absolutely any video editing software including iMovie, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro or whatever you prefer, but I will be showing you the easiest example and an absolutely free video editing software in case you don't want to pay for anything. So you can for instance just go to capwing.com, you can sign up for free, you can click on start editing, you can click to upload those stock clips right here and you can start editing. Now I just need to add my audio, so the voiceover that they previously made. So I'm gonna click on the upload icon once again, wait until my audio uploads and this is how it's going to look like. I'm also gonna cut this so I don't need the first part because it's silent and then I just need this part. And now you can listen to the sample intro of my faceless video. Listen to this. If you're bored at home and you feel like traveling, obviously I would now start changing the scenes. So I would go back to story blocks or pack cells and find something that will be relevant to my intro. For example, I will maybe search for tropical islands and find something nice. For example, this footage right here. Click on the download icon, HDMP4, download this to my computer. Go back to my video editing software. I will shrink this so we don't need it to be that long and then I will once again click on the upload icon and now we have another clip going on right here so let's play the video once again just as an example if you're bored at home and you feel like traveling then watch this video as I will show you the top and so you get the point just start editing with different short clips which you can find literally for free online or with a small fee on story blocks and once you're done the last part is to just create a thumbnail and for this you can either just use Photoshop and use free YouTube tutorials that are available if you just search for how to make a thumbnail or 
or just use Canva, which is an absolutely free online software, which gives you lots of different templates from which you can choose from and create a pretty nice looking thumbnail. And if you want to see how I got through a million subscribers on a faceless YouTube channel, then make sure to click on the box that's on the screen right now and I will show you step by step how I did it and how you can potentially do the same.